This is the first in the series of tutorials which are explaining to you the pattern smarts that are built into Garment Designer. The first one I want to explain is um, the measuring of angles. Garment Designer will make sure that when you're moving points that you're keeping good uh, angles in the, uh, where two seams intersect. And what I mean by that is in regular pattern making, if you change, for example, the neckline, as you can see here, the goal is to have a 90 degree angle just for the last little half inch or so of the uh, neckline so that you square off to the seam that you're coming to. And what this does is when you sew the two garments together, the front and the back, it allows for a 180 degree angle so that you have a perfectly smooth transition. So we kind of keep an eye on your angles at the neckline, uh, we keep an eye at the underarm, we keep an eye in various places. So if I go from style to style, you can see here we have a 90 degree angle, here we have a 90 degree angle, here we have a 90 degree angle. So as you move and drag and shift points around. I'm just going to move this one down a little. If you create an angle that's not good either by changing the neckline you will get a warning like this. Now typically I just suppress the warning uh, initially and at the end of my pattern making session I can go in and look at the recommendations and information and see what it's talking about. So for the moment I just say just show this mes message when uh, I click on the warning icon which is down here you have a little yield sign. It's kind of your clue that something's going on. So uh, I'm going to go and change and lower my armhole too at the same time. And so now let's just say I've finished with my design and I want to see if everything's okay. I can generate the information and recommendations window and I'll pull this up so you can see most of it. And so Garment Designer has gone through and measured the angles where body pieces connect. And so it's not happy right now with the angle I have here. It's not quite a 90 degree angle. So if I want to fix that, I'm going to go zoom in and I'm going to use a shortcut, Command 1 or Control 1 on Windows. And if I click on here, I'm just going to re-angle this a little and I can jump back to my window and see if that got worse or better. I'm trying to make this be a 90 degree angle here. So I'm thinking more like this and I can see that that's fixed it because my warning icon went away and when I check on the window here I can see that that went away and so now I'm guaranteed of having a great transition as I join the front to the back. Uh, like I said I often suppress that warning until the end and then I go correct all my angles. So that is a, a common um, problem that comes in when people are working and not understanding good pattern making skills. They have not created the squaring off that's necessary for a great pattern design. We do not do it in this area here of the armhole because so many stretch and so tight patterns and knit patterns and knitting patterns use a straight armhole but you can adjust this yourself by just pulling this in. I've clicked on this upper arm point. I can either nudge that in or I can choose uh, the dress making simple fit which has actually corrected the angle and given me a better arm. Let me point out at this time that this particular armhole which we call our dressmaker's armhole is practically necessary for working with woven fabrics. If you do not have the armhole curving in you will be feel very bound by the straight armhole. So straight armholes are fine for knits uh, and for knitting patterns but when it comes to woven definitely you need to have a dressmaker's armhole. If you use custom sizes it happens automatically but if you're just using the simple fit measurements you will want to choose the dressmaker's simple fit armhole. So this ends the first uh, little tutorial here in helping explain the pattern smarts of creating uh, squared off angles for proper pattern making.